Most blessed Holy Week to all of you, and welcome to this episode of Coffee Time with me, Father Sam. And uh, we have now entered uh, the darkness with our Lord Jesus uh, as he goes through his passion. That he goes through the way of the cross in order for us to um, be able to come into the light of his life that he entered our darkness so we can then enter into the light. Uh, and so we want to accompany him uh, in this week. And we do that by participating um, in the Holy Triduum, those three holy days, really just one event, the Paschal Mystery, but three holy days, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then the joy of the Easter Vigil or Easter Sunday. So I'm encouraging all of you to participate. Uh, we do have a full schedule, so please uh, check the schedule, check our app, check the website, the bulletin, all the social media, uh, maybe even on this post, uh, we'll have a link to, to what's going on. So the first thing is, of course, is the Mass of the Lord's Supper, which we uh, give thanks for the greatest gift that he left us, and that is himself. Jesus gives himself to us. He who is the way, the truth, and life gives himself in what looks like bread, looks like wine, but it's not bread and wine. It is truly him. So that is uh, something we really want to celebrate, and that's what we do at, at Holy Thursday, and the gift of the priesthood, that we um, know that on that night he uh, um, initiated or inaugurated, instituted the priesthood uh, so that he could then be able to have the Eucharist, the gift of the Eucharist, which he instituted on that same night, be given to every place in every part uh, or every, every area of the world throughout these last 2,000 years. So um, that's the gift on Holy Thursday. Then on Good, Good Friday, we'll have the walk at 8 a.m. So we meet at the Rayleigh's Shopping Center uh, right here, just off of Briggs Moore and Oakdale, and uh, do our uh, now reinstituted annual walk for life, being a witness to our un for our unborn brothers and sisters and to their mothers and fathers, uh, and just a real way to, to witness to that. And then after the walk, we'll have the live Stations of the Cross here on our campus. Um, and then after that, the uh, veneration of the cross at 1.30. Then in the evening, we have another um, service. Uh, we have the um, uh, procession of the Sorrowful Mother that will be in Spanish. So you're welcome to come to that to see that. That is quite uh, moving. And then um, a bilingual Stations of the Cross. And then Holy Saturday, uh, we have our Easter Vigil at 8.30. PM, I believe, uh, and we're having 14, actually 14 people coming into the church. So praise God, uh, they'll be initiated uh, through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. So, uh, and then of course Easter Sunday uh, masses. So we have the the, the dawn mass or the the uh, uh, sunrise service, as we call it. It'll be outdoors. It'll be at 6 a.m. and then after that, the 7:30 p.m. The 9 a.m. TLF Mass, the 10.30 a.m. English Mass, both hall and church, because there'll be a lot of people coming, and then 12.15 English and 2 o'clock Spanish. So that's the whole the whole schedule, um, but we're looking forward to this, um, being able to kind of go more deeply into what our Lord suffered. That's the first thing we got to do is kind of go through that darkness in order for us to come into a deeper uh, awareness of the light of his triumph, right? That he has conquered death. He has conquered sin. And, uh, and that is in the resurrection. Uh, but we have to go through the cross. We have to, to be with Jesus, imitate him in his death so that we can then share in his life. And that means kind of giving of ourselves, letting go of those things we're attached to, letting go of that past sin, uh, those tendencies, uh, those maybe preferences and attitudes that have held us back. Uh, from really submitting ourselves and surrendering totally to God's holy will, um, that that we have to go through that cross, and that's why we stay close to Him and really meditate on what He suffered and what He endured for us. So um, I again want to uh, encourage all of you uh, really to take the next few days um, to to get into this mystery in a more uh, intentional way. Uh, to really ponder it and uh, to pray. Uh, if you're not able to make it to the different, um, all different uh, minute, uh, services, 
or liturgies that you, you still take some time and pray. So have a most blessed uh, Triduum, and um, we pray a very blessed Easter that you may know through the intercession of St. Joseph and the Blessed Virgin Mary that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life.